What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the updated version of Antoine Bagatini's excellent IV add-on for Blender, Baga IV. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so you probably know Antoine Bagatini from his excellent free add-on for Blender, Bagapi, which comes with a number of different tools for creating all sorts of architectural type things, with scattering and other things like that. Well, Baga Ivy is his add-on specifically designed for generating Ivy inside your models. It is an excellent tool for doing just that. Um, I don't think I've seen anyone doing this particular thing any better than he is, but they just came out with the new version, which made Bagapi even better. So I will link to Bagapi in the notes down below, but let's take a look at what's going on with this new version. Okay, and so really the focus of this new version is the ability for you to be able to come in here and generate three different kinds of Ivy, right? So there's now three modes in here that are based on performance. So the way that it works is when you first install it, you just want to make sure that you install it and enable Baga Ivy generator right here. The other thing I recommend you do when you do this is I make sure that you is I recommend that you make sure that you install Baga Ivy's assets as an asset library. So you want to click on this. That's going to add Baga Ivy generators assets down here where you can actually um, click on them and use them. So I would make sure that you do that. But then once you do that, you can tap the N key on your keyboard, the N letter, and that's going to pop out Baga Ivy generator. And you've got three options in here. You've got fast, accurate, and precision. If you want more information, you can click on the little drop down right here in order to see more information about this. So um, they basically do exactly what they would sound like. But let's say that we were to go into fast mode right here, and I'm gonna add some IV to the Sketchfab model. So the way that it works is we can just click on the option for asset browser right here, and notice how there's a number of different presets. And so I'm gonna click on just the presets button just so you can see this real quick. It comes with a ton of different presets for different kinds of IV. All right, and so what we wanna to do to add a new IV is just click on one of these IV types in here. Notice how when you do that, that's gonna give you the option to add new IV. Now, one thing I do wanna do, this is a Sketchfab model, um, and notice how it came in in different pieces. So I wanna take all of those and just do a Control J in order to join them into an individual object. But note that the object you have selected is going to be important because that's what this is going to set the IV to be on. So now what I can do is I can click on the option in here for add new Ivy. And so when I do that, that's going to pop me into a curve mode right here and I can draw on the surface. What it's gonna do is it's going to add that Ivy type using curves like this. So you can see how I can come in here and I can add that Ivy super quickly inside of this model, right? And so then what I can do once this is created, once you're done um, drawing your curves, you can come over here and you can adjust things about the Ivy, right? So these are all adjustable like this. You can adjust things like the propagation. You can adjust the angle of the Ivy that's coming in here. You can kind of see that adjusting over here and pretty much everything else about the Ivy. So for example, I can adjust the leaves up or down. All right, so the less leaves I have in here, the more flowers it's going to put in here. So you can adjust that. Um, you can adjust the ivy bark and the ivy trunk, as well as a bunch of other things about the ivy. So he's actually got a function in here where you can, uh, where you can animate the ivy as well as if wind is blowing. And you can kind of see it in here if I kind of zoom in. And obviously, like this is very low frames per second, but you can see how the ivy is actually moving as if there was wind. So you can use this in order to um, add and adjust animation to that ivy as well. And so one cool thing about this is when you're done, if you click on the exit button right here, and then you select the IV, notice how you have the option to replace presets. What that means is that means you can select a different kind of IV and click on the option for replace presets and it's going to swap that IV out with the different types in here, right? So I can quickly swap out IV types inside of my model just by selecting a new preset, which is very cool, um, very easy to do. I'm going to apply the IV here. What that did is that just made this into an actual like mesh in my scene. So it's not live anymore. So once you're done with it, you can apply it if you want to, but say we wanted to add 
more ivy in here, we could go into accurate mode. And so what the accurate mode is going to do is it's gonna use the 3D cursor position as a start point, right? So if I place my 3D cursor right here, um, we can use this in order to add more detailed Ivy coming off of that point, right? So if I click on add new Ivy with this accurate mode, what that's going to do is that's gonna let me draw in here. And I forgot to select my object first. So you wanna make sure that you do that, but I'm gonna click on add new Ivy and then I'm going to draw like this. And so notice what that's doing is that's adding that Ivy in here based on where that central point is. Right, so it's a lot more realistic in the way that the branches go, but it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit heavier, I think. But notice how this one is gonna give you some different options for the IV propagation and other things like this. But this one is focused a little bit more on having the IV start in a location and grow outward, while this one is more of a wall cover type um, situation. All right, and then the precision mode is more designed to help you do this kind of branch by branch. So we'll go ahead and we'll select one of these other ivy types in here. But um, while the others generate like this full ivy piece in here like this, this one is going to do more of a draw on here and it's going to draw an individual branch situation. So um, if I draw along my Bonnie model right here, notice how it adds one singular branch. So if you wanna draw individual branches or have like a foreground, Ivy, this is a great tool for that. And there are options over here to adjust this as well on the right hand side if you wanna do that. So to me, this is an example of a very niche product that does one thing really well, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about Baga Ivy? As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.